The distal radius fracture is one of the most common fractures in the wrist in adults. This is typically a result from a fall on an outstretched hand, often abbreviated as FOUSH, F-O-O-S-H. Fouche injuries can also involve other structures, including scaphoid fractures and ligament sprains. The distal radial ulnar joint is reinforced anteriorly by the volar radial ulnar ligament and posteriorly by the dorsal radial ulnar ligament. Both ligaments are also part of the triangular fibrocartilage complex, or TFCC, and help to support the triangular fibrocartilage disc. This structure is load-bearing and serves to help stabilize the ulnar side of the wrist. At the radial carpal joint on the dorsal side, we have the dorsal radial carpal ligament, which runs from the radius to triquetrum. It helps to stabilize the radial carpal joint and restrict wrist flexion. Supporting the palmar side, the palmar radial carpal ligaments are a group of ligaments connecting the radius to the carpal bones. The palmar ulnocarpal ligaments are a group of ligaments connecting the ulna to the carpal bones. They also form a part of the TFCC.